Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Karen. I go by Caribe here on YouTube. So today's video is going to be a very special one. You know how it goes. All of them are special. So Gold Mountain Beauty reached out to me and they allowed me to choose five items in exchange to try them out and, you know, do a review for you guys. Now, if at the end of the video you feel like you would want to try some of these items or you're interested in some of these, I will go ahead and leave their link down below in my description box. And I will also include a code that they provided for me, which you guys could get 10% off. So these are the items that I got. Let me quickly tell you each of them. I got a natural foot and shoe deodorizer. I got the elixir with rose hip oil and gold dust. I got the Tuxedo Mint Mask, Whiten Mask for the teeth. I got the Charcoal Deep Pore Mask. And I got the Anti-Aging Beauty Capsules. The way I chose these products, I went on their website and I browsed through everything. They have a lot of different, you know, interesting things. You could see a little bit about them. They have oral care. They have self-tanning, foot therapy, and skincare. All of their product formulas are 100% cruelty and vegan-free. So they do not test on animals. I wanted to go in and, you know, browse around and look at the highly rated products because I just like trying companies' highly rated products. So this was no exception. I went ahead and I used these products for about a month or so because I did want to give them a fair chance and just try them on myself to kind of get a feel for them and see how I like them. So in the next clips, you guys are going to be seeing Thomas um, use the items with me. This was like the first time that I ever tried any of these items. So I just wanted him to be with me. He's just on there trying this stuff with me. He's my guinea pig too. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and speak about this one, which is the anti-aging beauty capsules. So the capsules in here are loaded with a lot of nutrients and vitamins for your skin, which is stuff that we want to have for our face. I like to use this every night. You can see I'm running out on them. I only have five left. The scent of this is like a plant. I don't know exactly like what it is, but this feels really smooth on my face. Um, it glides on like butter, guys. And then I like how it dries up and it soaks into your skin so it doesn't feel, you know, super oily. So the way that your face is left afterwards, it's kind of tacky, but not in an uncomfortable way, if that makes sense. But I found that none of these products broke me out. I'm very acne prone. So, you know, if my face doesn't like something, it will automatically just break me out. I was really grateful. Like that was one of the main things that I was like, oh my gosh, thanks. And here we go. Something that I really like about this one is the packaging. So not only does it come in this little cute container right here, which is like acrylic looking, but when you open them, you have the actual capsule thing and this is completely shut closed. So you have to trim it with some scissors. You're not forced to use the whole thing all at once if you don't want to. So the first time that I used it, I felt like it was just way too much. And afterwards, I was like, okay, I don't need to use it all. I could just, you know, use whatever portion I need and then put it right back in. And I still feel like it's fully potent because there's no bacteria or any germs or anything that's going into it because that's a tiny little hole. And then you close it, you know, so it keeps everything nice and tidy. Okay, so these are supposed to be anti-aging. Now, I didn't see a major difference, but I think it has to do also with the fact that I don't have like super mature skin you know because I'm only 26 I'm only 26 I don't have too many deep wrinkles I do have some smile lines and you know any wrinkles that I had on my face did not worsen so I would say that was nice but a lot of these preventative creams you don't really see much of a difference if you don't have to too many wrinkles as long as it keeps you nice and firm and plump then you know like okay you know this is working this is good you know but yeah just the fact that it had some really good ingredients for your face i was at ease with it like okay this is something that is good for my skin and it's nourishing so a few times i did go ahead and use the oil along with this when i wanted a little bit more of extra hydration this is more like an oily serumish sort of deal so in the beginning i would use one capsule for like three nights but then i was reading more into it and you could actually use it on your neck and on your hands and for some reason i sometimes forget that my neck is so important just as important as my face because it doesn't matter if my face is nice and glowy and plump if my neck is looking saggy and wrinkly you know so afterwards i did start to include it into my neck so yeah i would use like three quarters of a capsule for one night when i started using it on my neck and on my hands I kind of don't use stuff on my hands. I don't know why. I just don't like to feel product on my hands, but I should because that's another thing that's going to get wrinkly. Karen. I really like how it squirts out. Oh, wow. Oh, it feels really nice for the hands. Oh my gosh. I should use it more. I forgot how nice it felt because I was just using it right here. And my mom taught me that every time you apply something on your neck, you always have to go like this because you just want to elevate the neck area and not droop it down. Anyways, moving on. Because I live in my mom's house, she feels entitled to try all of my things. So she saw these and she loves these capsule stuff. So when she saw that I had these, she was like, Ay, a ver, Karen, mira que tienes ahí. And I was like, oh, you want to try it? And she was like, yeah. So she did go ahead and she tried these and she used them a few nights as well. And she really enjoyed them. Obviously her skin is, you know, mature. She's got wrinkles and she is really, really dry. So I guess that's a plus, you know, that it works for different skin types. So the next item is the elixir with rosehip oil and gold dust. I have other products that have this scent, 
but this one has a really delicious scent. So this one smells like rosehip oil, but I don't think it's super strong. I don't even know how to describe it. I wish, look, smell it. Just kidding, I wish you guys could smell it. But it smells really good. Take my word by it, take my word by it. But it also smells super delicious and it's super, super soft and it glides on your face. And I normally would use this mm, two to three times a week for primer. I did make sure to apply another actual primer on this area where I have large pores. And then I would go in with this one and use it all over my face. So for the rest of my face, there was no problem. It helped my foundation stick along with, you know, a setting spray. And it made my face look really healthy and it felt smooth. I mean, who doesn't want soft skin, you know? Especially when you have so many imperfections in your skin but i really enjoyed the scent i i really enjoyed this one so so much so these two didn't have reviews but they looked so interesting that i wanted to give them a shot the other ones do have reviews so bear with me this one has vitamin a c and e and it has um gold dust they're very very fine so this one says you could use it day or night it's probably controlled to a small percentage so that it allows you to go out in the sun and not have to worry about anything you know what's interesting that you could put this on your hair I tried it a few times and I loved how it smelled. If you wanted to use this one for your hair, you would use it from mid lengths to the ends. This is supposed to help with frizz, to nourish, and just make your hair, you know, healthy looking and have shine also. I can't say much about it for the hair because I didn't use it as much. Let's do it right now. I just deal with so much oiliness that I don't like having it on my hair, but I'll just apply it and... Just for the scent, I would definitely apply it. But I guess the bottom of my hair doesn't get oily, so that shouldn't be a problem, huh? My only complaint for now would probably be the packaging. Not this area, but just this little to be squirt thingy because it's super delicate and it could easily fall off and, you know, we don't want that. Hopefully they could better that little too. So I did want to see how it would work on its own, so I did use it a few times on my bare face, just, you know, after a moisturizer when I had no makeup on, which is kind of rare sometimes, but I did give it a few shots and I tried it and I, you know, I enjoy the softness because when I would use it as a primer, I would immediately, you know, pack on the foundation so I didn't get to experience you know what this had to offer which is why I would use it in the night sometimes too and then sometimes in the night I would use a roller and just you know roll it in and massage it in because who doesn't like to be massaged on their face it feels delicious if you've never gotten a massage girl you need to get a massage this is the natural foot and shoe deodorizer for athletes okay I get it I'm not an athlete but but I do know that I have flats and sandals and tennis shoes and other type of shoes that really keep my feet constricted 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 during a whole day's worth of work so you know they're bound to smell so this i really really love i've loved tea tree oil for years and years now i know it's supposed to be in a really good antifungal product and it kills bacteria so this spray oh my god it was no exception i even it smells so good this deodorizer was one of the products that had so many good reviews because i keep all of my shoes in my closet you know sometimes after a long working day not the best to have in your closet so what i'll do as soon as i get back from work or whatever place i'm at i normally spray like two sprays on each shoe and then just leave it outside for a few minutes before i bring them back inside and then that really really helps like the ones that are not the best smelling it really helps them to stay fresh and then a few times a week after i shower i like to just spray them just when i need that extra fresh and coolness on my feet and then thomas loves this too and oh my gosh i spray that in his shoes too because men have odors you know what i'm saying this works great to keep them nice and deodorized and odorless and disinfected and fresh and minty okay the next item is the charcoal mask deep pore cleansing let me tell you something this is truly what it says on here it's a deep pore cleanser i took a picture which i will show you guys i'm down to like the very bottom so i've got no i'd say i have a few more masks left there's no sense to it i was a little disappointed in the beginning because i was thinking oh my gosh this is so small you know but surprisingly no because i've had it for more than a month and i use it like two to three times a week to deep cleanse my pores and I still have, you know, a few masks left in there. A little goes a long way with this. I realized that less is more with this product. Just apply my basic layer, leave it on for the 15-20 minutes that I normally do, and that alone will tighten your skin. And after the 15 or 20 minute mark when you're getting ready to remove it, if you go like this, or like this, you will literally see it crack. But after like 5-10 minutes, you really start to feel like pulsing and it just tenses your skin. Which some people might find uncomfortable and not like it, but I don't mind. It just makes me think that it's eliminating and purging all my pores. Which I think is a really big contribution to my skin not breaking out. After I apply it and I leave it for the 15-20 minutes, I normally remove it with lukewarm water and I just wipe it off. Or I'll grab a wet cloth and then just wipe it off with that. 
it's really up to you I don't know if there's a difference or not but I've done both I'm already used to applying like heavy masks like this so whether it's this mask or any other type of charcoal or clay mask you want to make sure that you test patch it first on your skin and make sure that you don't have like a crazy reaction because this definitely leaves my face red remember it's pulsing there's like a heartbeat on your face that disappears within like 10 minutes since I'm talking about my mom as well she used this one she didn't leave it for too too long I think she left it for maybe like seven to ten minutes and she said that she liked it she normally doesn't exfoliate obviously she had a layer you know moisturizer afterwards now I normally don't like products that are like this where you open it and it's kind of exposed to everything but because it's a powder I don't mind it because it's dry and that's the same for the teeth whitening mask here's the last one so this is the tuxedo mint all natural and organic teeth whitener and detoxifier it has the instructions in the back except for this little guy but they all have the instructions so just like for the face mask this is also like a little lid that you pop open and then there's powder in it I guess if you're gonna be sharing it, you would probably split half of it and give it to that person because you do just, you know, wet the brush and dip it into here. Get the powder and then start brushing your teeth, which some people might find disgusting, but if it's only for yourself, I mean, who's to blame you, you know? This one is to whiten your teeth naturally. There's no harsh chemicals or ingredients in here. It's all organic. I did notice that it whitened my teeth, however, it's not super strong you know if you want that if you need that within like a week or something it's probably not going to give it to you it takes more like two to three weeks to like a month to be able to notice you know a difference i would try to use it twice a day you know use this and then go in and brush my teeth afterwards with my you know regular toothpaste sometimes i would forget it and then when i finally you know put it in my restroom i would remember that i had it in there and i would use it and it didn't make a mess or at least it did make a mess but i didn't care because it was black all over the shower but then i would rinse it because you're in the shower, you know? So Whereas the sink, it does get a little bit more messy. But I personally did like this for the depth cleaning of like the activated charcoal and just, you know, for your teeth and your gums and your mouth. That is the end of this video and the end of this review. If you guys have watched this far, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, Gold Mountain Beauty, for sending me these products. I really appreciate it. Some things I did like more than others, as mentioned, you know, throughout the video. But either way, I really appreciate what each of them have to offer. I really enjoyed trying all of these items. I hope if you guys decide to let me know how you like them or if you have already let me know in the comments what you think about them what you like what you don't like please subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more about me and my videos and all of my little adventures and i will see you next time bye okay let me be serious serious they have a tea tree they have a tea tree oil foot soak foot foot i i just like chat oh my gosh and then afterwards i would and then i that i have some i don't know i'm a hot mess when you go and get your little teeth clean? Hi friends. No, we're not doing this. Hi friends. We're not talking. Hi friends. <laughs>